Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's John. I'm on my news desk here and also my prop trading desk. Exciting days today in news coverage. Today is Wednesday, November 6, 2024. Do me a favor, give my video a thumbs up. It helps with the algos. And please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, I appreciate it. So I go over geopolitical news first. Let's look at it and then socioeconomic and then I give you a bonus at the end if you stay with me, which is my trading plan. So, top stories. Associated Press. Trump wins the White House in political comeback rooted in appeals. Man. CNN, the Communist News Network. Election 2024. Senate results are being published. NPR. National Public Radio. Most states that considered abortion rights amendments approve them. NPR, Sarah McBride becomes the first openly transgender person elected to Congress. The Hill, Election Day BOMB threats disrupt voting in multiple states. And Cal matters, uh, let's see, catch up quick. Here's what happened to California election results. So this is the geopolitical news. And then I go over socioeconomic news. Again, if you stay with me, you get my trading trading plan. Again, it's not financial advice. So I'm going to look first. Let's look at what's being reported on bar chart. S&P 500. Oh, my goodness. Like the Dow Jones is up like 1,000 thousand points. 1,387 points on the Dow mini futures. So S&P again up. Want about 2% crude oil. The VIX is off. Tanks 21 points. Okay, lower VIX, less volatility. The trend, your friend. Stock market wants to go higher. And then the risk off asset with gold plunges, you know, down almost 3%. All right, so S&P soars to record highs as Trump wins presidential election. Trump win ignites crypto frenzy that sends Bitcoin to a record high. My goodness, more on that later, but I, my synthetic Bitcoin mining rig is pumping the profits. It's unreal, vulgar. Stocks and Bitcoin jump after Trump's victory. So do worries about inflation as Dow surges 1,300 points. CVS uh, Health Q3 profit misses estimates. Company names two new uh, leaders at two divisions. NVIDIA or Apple. Intel stock recovery is a slow process. Uh, cruise control with cruise stocks. Home Depot news. So let's go over the major markets first. S&P Mini uh, up 126 points. NASDAQ E Mini up uh, 475 points. Dow Future Minis up 1389 points. Up huge. The VIX tanks. U.S. dollar, the Dixie 105 spot 005 up, so the U.S. dollar is showing strength. The 10-year at 109-140. And we got to watch interest rates now. See, the real hedge funds and traders know the real trade right now is in the long bond, like in the 30-year bond and the 10-year, and then also the oil market. The stock market's exciting, and so is crypto, but we're going to talk about uh, the long bond TMF, which is the uh, leveraged ETF for the long bond, interesting. Crude oil off a quarter, uh, you know, at 71 spot 73. So this is what's being reported. Gold off 70 points at 26.79. Silver is off a dollar 31 at 31 spot 46. I'll purchase silver bullion all the way to zero. So I like I might purchase a dip today. So I booked a huge profit this morning in Dogecoin and uh, Bitcoin and the blockchain ETFs. So more on that in a minute, but let's talk about the leaders. Tesla, stock market leaders up like 12%, NVIDIA up 3%, Amazon active, Meta is flat, DJT, Trump Media up huge again, Apple Computers active, Microsoft, Coinbase, I own stock shares in almost all of these companies, except for DJT. I own shares in Apple Computer, Microsoft, Coinbase is up 
about 18, 19% micro strategy. I own stock in micro strategy. And I also own stock shares in Palantir, which is up another, I guess, to a new high of up 6%. A lot of news. So this is exciting times. So now let's look at, all right, we're going to go over my trading plan here in a minute. Yahoo Finance. Dow Jones soars over 1,000 points as Trump retakes the White House. All right, so a lot of exciting news there. Trump trade thrives after election triumph. DJT up 8%. Wow, here's what's next on two key economic issues for Trump. All right, let's look at the 2024 election, live updates. Toyota bet on hybrids look even better under Trump. Let's say Trump's victory casts shadow over the Federal Reserve. <laughs> What's the Federal Reserve going to do? They're going to lower interest rates. Again, watch that long bond. we got the uninversion of the yield curve, and then stocks are pumping. So, man, are we going to see like a post-President uh, Obama, um, you know, stock market dip after the inauguration? We'll see. Interest rates, man. DJT stock soars up big again. Green energy stocks sink as Trump wins U.S. election. Wall Street scores a win, too. This should, uh, bank stocks, Bank of America's up, and so is Wells Fargo. <coughs> so time for a coffee break here real quick. Mm. You tell them a professional anchor man. MAGA, make America great again. Bitcoin, Tesla, soar. <clears throat> As Trump wins 2024 race, former President Donald Trump is headed back to the White House. Wall Street is celebrating. Bitcoin, new high. I bought the breakout on Bitcoin as I predicted. You know, the old time high for Bitcoin was, the old resistance was 73,797 spot 68. And I thought that if it trades greater than that price, the all-time high, that I was going to do the breakout trade. And I've done so. So, unreal. My Bitcoin mining rig that I have that I invented, the synthetic mining rig, is just unreal uh, profitable. So, it's like kind of tough to even kind of talk about it. So, this is what's being reported on our chart and then also Yahoo Finance. So... A lot of stocks, man. Look at gainers. I mean, whew. federal home loan stock is up 70, 63%. Man, FMCCH. So I guess these are interest rate sensitive trades. The stocks that are tanking, PAX Group off 37%. Super Micro Computer off 25%. I did a trade on C super microcomputer where I sold some puts, they got tanked and then, but I also purchased a, a put underneath it as a hedge and so they worked out. So that trade ended up being flat, but super microcomputer smells like, boy, smells like Enron, Worldcom, Worldcom or Global Crossing. So now on to my trading plan. Tezos, Dogecoin, Ethereum and Bitcoin. So I'm in four cryptos. Tezos is not profitable for me, so I'll use it to anchor my, my portfolio for crypto. I'm off about 3% in Tezos, so I won't, uh, I won't uh, do a recurring uh, daily uh, investment in Tezos. I'll just sit tight with it. I sold Dogecoin for a huge profit. As my uh, viewers know, I was upside down in Dogecoin, negative 42% six months ago, and this morning... Uh, my Dogecoin position pumped up. I mean, it was up 30% uh, on me, so I took some profits out of Dogecoin. But since it's, it's still profit, I don't sell the whole position, but it's still up 25%. So I will continue now to chase my winners, and I will continue to dollar cost average Dogecoin today, even though I scalped out a huge profit and such. ETH, Ethereum, my second largest position, I'm all, I was off 20%, now I'm only off 11%. I won't continue to add to it. My cost basis is 2,981 spot 57 on Ethereum. 
So once it breaks above that price, then I'll add to it and change the pump if that happens. If not, I'll just sit tight with it. SPY ETF, buy the rumor, sell the news. So I sold not my entire position, but I scalped out some nice profit in the S&P 500 this morning on the pump with the election news. So that worked out great. And then uh, this is unreal. My blockchain ETFs that I've talked about, uh, I squared off huge profits in them. My synthetic Bitcoin mining rig has two components. It's comp the foundation is the blockchain ETFs, BKCH and Block, B-L-O-K. One is up 14%, the other one's up 7% today. So I sold uh, squared off positions in blockchain ETF this morning. I don't sell the entire position, but it's breaking out to the upside. So I square a little bit of the profit off and I will continue today to continue the dollar cost average BKCH, even though I sold some this morning to take a profit out of it. Block, B-L-O-K, new high, all time high or 52 week high. It's never too high to buy. So I purchased the breakout today in Block, the Amplified Transformational Data Sharing ETF. Not financial advice, not a financial advisor, informational purposes only. I'm an entertainer. Do your own uh, research. Up huge in Amplified Transformational Data Sharing ETF. So I did the breakout. My cost basis is 40 spot 39. It's now trading at 43 spot 18. Up huge. So I'll, I bought the breakout in block. So that's my trading plan. It's epic. You know, squaring profits off today. Huge news on my uh, synthetic mining rig for Bitcoin. Today, I will continue to dollar cost average Bitcoin. I did the breakout trade. My average cost basis in Bitcoin now is 69,893 spot 43. And Bitcoin was as high today at 75,341 spot 71. So, I'm, you know, this last cycle, I'm up 5,000 points in Bitcoin. So the breakout, how high can Bitcoin go now that it breaks out? I have no idea. Uh, it's on it's unlimited potential on the upside. It's never too high to buy. So I'll continue to purchase Bitcoin every day and dollar cost average it. I'll square some profits out of it. So that's all I have. So it's just unreal. I almost can't even talk about it. You see, I'm getting gaggy with it because of the, the number of uh, points and profits that I've made booked in Bitcoin and synthetic mining rig with the blockchain ETFs. It's just unreal. Mm. Dogecoin pumped huge. ETH I'll sit tight with. Tezos I'll sit tight with. Bitcoin dollar cost average it every day. Dollar cost average SPY again. Square it off profits in that. And then continue to build the uh, foundation of my synthetic mining rig that I invented about three years ago. Running a little longer. I got about 14 minutes. But that's the reason you want to subscribe to my channel because my synthetic Bitcoin mining rig has booked approximately in excess of 50,000 points and trading points in Bitcoin in the last 15 weeks or so. So here we go again, you know, starting the cycle all over again, building the foundation and the blockchain ETFs and the dollar cost averaging Bitcoin and then squaring profits off huge in Dogecoin. That's my trading plan. It's your bonus. So welcome to my channel. I got a lot of new subscribers. I want to welcome all of you. My channel's getting a lot of traction. And so with that, everyone, uh, it's around 11 o'clock on the 6th here. So have a wonderful, great day. Always trade in the direction of the trend. And let the trend be your friend. Thanks.